this episode, we're going to chase out some whitetails from the past season. Stay tuned. Dude. Roll it! This does comes out about 50 yards south of us. It's actually in the neighbor's field right now. But I have my little car parked underneath the shanty, so she's a little skittish at first. As she crosses through this fence line, I have my buddy filming me. I got the rifle ready. I had to wait for her to come through the right gap to take a shot. She went over here. I don't know, there's no blood. No. Right there. <laughs> right here. This is early October. I got in here pretty early this day. He came out probably three o'clock, came by this tree, he bedded down, stood up and bedded down a couple more times. Finally this doe came out, got him up on his feet. She ran 20 yards in front of me, so I got my bow up and ready. Turned the camera on, he followed her path all the way in. I stopped him, gave me a good broadside shot. I must have flinched or something. You see in the film, I hit him right in the shoulder. Unfortunately, he wasn't able to recover this buck. This was uh, early November. I headed out to do some doe management. It's a really, really cold night. Um, this doe came out probably 20 yards from me, walked down this two track. She got within 10. She spooked out to what ended up to be 35. I stopped her, let one fly, and hit her really good. And she only went about probably 40 yards, piled up. Unfortunately, it was too cold for the battery and the camera died.
I just smoked a doe. She's about 37 yards. She came out about then. She busted me, but she ended up coming back. I think I might have smoked her. Stay tuned. The end of rifle season, I haven't been seeing very many bucks at all. Finally saw a nice eight point. certain plot there's closest water is about one mile away so keep the deer in your area if it's in your food pot you got to have a source of water so I just went to the local farm store and picked up this kiddie pool it was like twelve dollars you basically go when you want to have a space where it's mostly shaded to where it does rain it won't the sun won't evaporate so fast and also keep your water temp a little cooler than out in the sun. So basically you just get your kiddie pool and you dig a hole around the bottom of it. Fit it in, pat some dirt up around it, keep it sturdy. Then you can either come back with a, a barrel of water or wait for mother nature to do her thing. But <clears throat> basically, I have about probably not even a quarter acre of clover. I picked up from the local seed dealer. Um, tree stand is up there. I'm probably going to move it to that big oak on the west side, hoping for a south wind. And I also got a old cedar post to I'm gonna bury probably in this general direction for a rubbing post but it's May 31st I'm gonna put out some trail camps today and see what's going on in the properties stay tuned now I got my kitty pool buried cedar post I ended up digging like an 8 inch hole burying it fill in with dirt you gotta make sure using it really sturdy because them bucks will be rubbing on it all year or all fall and they'll tend to loosen them up but this will last three or four years usually late September I'll put some scent on it get the bucks rubbing on it a little bit and then come late October early November they'll be visiting it about every day along with scrape them and put next to it probably so this will last about four or five years um, they tend to wear them down quite a bit so might need a couple more, but so far is what I got. Mm -hmm. 